I'm on top of a volcano, and this is episode 7 of Tech It. Well, what a hiatus I've been on. Here's my quarry and uh, my nether exit. Uh, and there is... Ooh, look at this. Look at my reed farm, or sugarcane farm, I should say. It's uh, actually grown, and it's in time for some harvesting. Now, in today's episode, I want to make these episodes more uh, sort of current, and I want to release one at least one a week. And uh, this episode is going to be featuring the mining laser. I want to craft it. I know all the recipes, all the, all the sort of uh, building costs that are required in building the mining laser and uh, hopefully we can get that done uh, this episode now episode lengths I rather want to keep them Roger large I want to keep them uh, longer than 30 minutes um, because I don't do these too often and uh, I've been on a massive hiatus so I want to give uh, give back and uh, have a little bit of a come back with a little bit of a big bang sort of atmosphere and uh, do a really cool good episode and wow this sugar cane farm goes on for ages um, I'm sure I've dropped a lot of uh, uh, the reeds or the sugar canes or the whatever you want to call them. They've changed the name sh so many times from reeds to sugar canes to... I think that's is the only two <laughs> name changes, but I always get confused which one is which. And uh, this, we're currently actually running uh, Minecraft version 1.2.5. Um, so you can see we're sort of backlogged. Um, recently, I, I've, I've been sort of out of touch with Minecraft for the last po uh, couple of months. Um, of uh, In particular, the last month, I've been completely out on Minecraft. I don't know what the latest version of Minecraft is. I do believe it's uh, 1.6.4. I'm not quite sure. I did a video yesterday uh, reviewing the mutant skeletons. Um, but here we go. We have the sugar canes. Now, um, I should put them off in a chest. Now, I have completely forgotten wherever I place my stuff. Um, so don't mind me, I'm just going to be rummaging across each and every single, ah, oh, there we go, each and every single chest to, uh, find some of the stuff. Now, uh, we need some ruby, uh, crystals, we need some bronze, copper, rubber, uh, diamonds, glowstone, dust, lapis lazuli, redstone, refined iron, and 16 to create the mining laser. Now, the mining laser is all sorts of fun, so uh, I'm gonna see if I have some of the items and then go on an adventure and try to find uh, the remaining items that we need. Hopefully I have every single one, but, uh, we also need to go on an adventure and uh, then we'll go some, do some mining with the mining laser. So I have accumulated quite a lot of uh, the ingredients of what we need to uh, build with um, the mining laser. Now I do remember actually owning a mining laser, actually uh, creating it before, but uh, I do seem to have lost it or I maybe I've died with it. So we are just made a chest so I can just place down some of the stuff that we have. Uh, we also, uh, what we need from starting off, we need uh, six bronze. Currently we have four now. That's, one thing that we need, we need two things, uh, so we have the bronze, we do have three copper, uh, we have rubber, we need six rubber, uh, so we can just go place down six in here. Uh, what else do we need? We need two diamonds, we've done that. Uh, we need glowstone dust, so that's another thing that we need. Um, then we need lapis lazuli, so we'll leave a spot for the lapis, uh, for the glowstone dust, and uh, 23 redstone, and seven refined iron, and also six tin. Now I am refining some iron here. There we go. Now we have refined iron in our electronic furnace. I remembered and I just uh, quickly remembered the uh, recipe for that. Uh, using uh, the help of this, if you type in refine and then you just press R, what what it does, oh, nope. oh, no, no, we don't want that. Um, we want, oh crap, what do I want? What do I want? Um, I wanted the recipe. I wanted the recipe for that. Uh, now you've got to be kind of careful not to uh, give yourself the items, uh, but you can actually turn that off. Uh, cheat mode to recipe. There we go. That's what I want. And uh, there we go. So once you have done this, you can get uh, iron ingots and just smelt them, and you get refined iron, and that's what we have. So now, um, let's see. What do I need? Uh, also, I wanted to top up uh, some of the... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. What is... what? What is happening? No, we don't want to do that. We want to generate. There we go. And where's another generator? I do believe this is another generator. We want to just power. There we go. And I don't think this one is connected. Is this one connected? Nope, oh, it is. I think it's. I think. I don't think it's dragging any power. It's just. Um, I think if I get this. Let's see, hopefully this works. There we go. Uh, but the gold piping is a lot better than uh, is this bronze. It doesn't say. It's uh, this, is, this is a really old Minecraft. It's got copper cables. All right, so we can just place this back. Um, 
I got some wood there. Now, I scoured everything trying to find um, bronze, and I don't want to cheat myself. Uh, yes, I need... Um, we need bronze. Oh, okay, so we need a couple of building blocks. We'll go to the nether first. Um, so, building blocks, where are you? Here we go. Building blocks. And we'll get a bucket of water. Um, there we go. We don't need anything <coughs> else too extravagant. We don't, we're not going to be fighting any mobs, any zombies. Now, where is my bed? I, I do believe I have my bed here somewhere. And now I don't know where on earth my bed is. Here's my farm. I, I really should collect that. Um, but well, I want to go mining. But first of all, where's my bed? Where on earth did I place my bed? Um... Ah, oh, look at this. How silly am I? My bed's right here. There we go. There's my delicious bed. We'll go to bed um, and then travel to the nether and hopefully find some interesting stuff. Now, I can travel to the nether exit or I do believe I have set up a nether sort of portal here and it's a lot faster to get down to. Uh, so we'll just climb down these stairs and the exit is all the way over there in 200 blocks, basically. Now we're getting a bit closer to it, but we're looking for some bronze. Um... And also some uh, two glowstone dust. So glowstone dust is fairly easy to find. Uh, so we'll get that first. And uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, this, this is always scary, but I, I am playing on peaceful. So I'm not quite sure what is so scary about the nether. Although it looks like uh, extreme hell, pain, and just everything just being really mean. Uh, so here we have the mining laser. Oh, not the mine. Uh, the mining drill. Or diamond drill, I should say. Um, and this, my friends, is nether redstone ore. And you can hear the actual um, wind of the nether. Very, very surreal sort of sound effects going on here. And I really wish Tekkit would be updated for the latest version of Minecraft. But unfortunately it isn't. There are a lot of different sort of client-side mods that are like Tekkit that are better. And I don't think Tekkit is any uh, going to be updated anymore. So hopefully I might have to uh, check out... Oh, there we go. It, it, I've harvested some glowstone already from here. Uh, must have uh, taken enough. Alright, so what I want to do is just sort of extend this platform because I may die. I do have a little bit of armor on, um, but that's just my solar panel helmet and uh, I think a chest plate. Nothing too spectacular. There we go. We'll just get a nice... Oh! Oh, that's what I was talking about. Extending the platform so I don't fall down. And of course, I fall down. Now, what is here? This is a really interesting sort of Thing, just a gravel, a layer of gravel, and is that floating gravel? God, God what is up with Minecraft now? Um, it feels like Minecraft is old. Uh, well, it is pretty, it is pretty old. But playing this is it feels like a clunky version of Minecraft. It uh, doesn't feel, it doesn't feel right. Um, playing an older version of Minecraft. Um, all right, we'll just collect this whole cluster of it and uh, be done for in the Nether for a while. We'll also collect this. Because this may come in handy. Oh, no, I'm not going to get it. Oh, crap. What was that? Did you hear that creeper explode? I swear that was a creeper exploding, but I play on peaceful. Oh, God, this is scary. I do remember having in a video down here, just like, adventuring down here and uh, get, getting killed and slayed. And Oh, crap. Where is my portal? Oh, uh oh. I think I'm lost. Oh, crap. Um. Where did I come from? This is bad. This is not what you want to happen. I think we go down here, actually. Oh, is this bronze? Please be bronze. Please be bronze. Oh, copper ore? Really? Copper ore? Redstone copper ore. I really need to... F I really need to find out what... What was that? What the fuck was that? Um... Okay, that's just... This is scary. This is really, really scary. I think there's a ghast that's glitched out and he is uh, invisible, but he's still shooting at me. God, did you see that? Oh. Bastard. Better not die. Well, here's a little tower that I made. So I must be close to civilization, but I don't see the way back. This is terrible. And I'm scared something's shooting at me. What kind of bastard does that? Where is where is my way out? I really want to find my way out. Way out of here. 
I don't want to be stuck in the nether for the whole video. God, what was that? I'm trying to think of what could it be, but I don't know. No, nope, not, not coming through here. No, nope, didn't come through here. Well, let's just backtrack on where we actually came from. So we sort of were here, and I don't know. I'm lost. Alright, let's continue on. Let's see if we can find find a way out. Well, that was rather silly of me. Right here where I made the pillar, I didn't actually, uh, I just sort of forgot how my sort of entrance looked like. And here's the entrance, I didn't look. And behind this corner is my portal, so I should go over here and teleport over far away. Um, not where my teleport nether portal... Oh, oh here we go. Alright, so here's this random nether portal that I found. Oh, well, I found my way out. And here we have an interesting interesting block. I wonder what this is. I think this is emerald or sapphire. Yeah, sapphire. Emerald is, I do believe, red. We've already looted this. And this is a spider spawner. But, but, oh, take a look at this. We have some ruby. More ruby. And here's that way up we dug, like, uh, area that we dug to uh, escape. Escape this evil hell. And I do believe this is ruby. And I wonder what you can create with ruby. I, I don't think we need any ruby uh, to create uh, the mining laser. Um, but, uh, yeah. I think I'll just uh, cut to when I'm at my house. Alright, we're back home and my mining drill is basically out of power. So, let's go regenerate that. What you need to do is, uh, I do believe, like so. And voila, we have a diamond drill. Just wait until that charges up and uh, we can go to this one and charge it up like here. And there we go, we have a fully charged diamond drill. Now, uh, we can dispose, or we can just plonk this stuff in. I do believe I have a nether chest. Uh, maybe it's this one. Yep, it's this one. Uh, place down my nether findings. Um, which is always kind of interesting. Um, oh, wait. Uh, no, we place that down here. And oh my god, how could we miss that? We had glowstone dust all along. So this just shows that uh, how newbie I am and that... Uh, uh, at least locating um, the items. There we go. We can uh, place two, two there, and we also need some more bronze. Um, and also, uh, we can place the sapphire emerald there, and uh, place back our lapis on oh, our uh, glowstone dust. Uh, we'll just keep all that in our inventory like so. And we need to find some more. We need to find some more. Um, bronze. So this is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not quite sure how easily they're going to be able to find bronze. Hopefully this is bronze. Uh, what is this? Please be bronze. Copper. Oh well, we will collect all this. Um, simply because if you come across an ore, I've learned that uh, in time you will need it. So you should collect it instead of neglecting it. And uh, when you need it, you're in search of it and you can't really find it. So uh, there we go. We collected 3 iron and also uh, 12 copper. Alright, now I have created all these different alleyways, and I'm not quite sure um, where these alleyways lead to, because I haven't played this in a long while. Uh, let's go see, let's go see if we can create our own alleyway. I don't have any torches though, so that might, ooh, what is this? This is, uh, I think this is Tannerite, uh, Nicolite, that was close. There we go, more Nicolite over here, and maybe... We'll find, what's this, I think this is uranium, yep, uranium ore. We have some uh, redstone, we'll collect that. Uh, what is this, come on, I think this is silver. What is this, yeah, tin ore. So, uh, we're finding all the other ores that are in the game, but we're not finding the one that we want. Which is always a pain in the bum. Some more silver, silver, nickelite. Um, Nicolite, silver, or oh, no, it's tin. Damn it, I don't have any torches. I should have really thought of that before I went mining. Very noob, very noob activity. I just did that. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, why I would do that. All right, so we're on to the quest of finding some. We'll just go place our ores in here, so we can just get a nice sort of uh, inventory slot. See if we can uh, find some. Uh, 
bronze. We're only after just a just a small amount of bronze, maybe I do believe two. Two bronze is needed for the completion of the mining laser. And then we can get on to the building. So we basically have all the core items except a little bit of bronze. Now I can just see this bronze being the biggest pain in the ass to get. I really wish I could find it really easy. Really easily, but I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. Here's a pathway. Run down that way. Um, yeah, I don't think uh, we're going to be finding any bronze anytime soon without any torches. So I might have to cut and then bring torches. Uh, maybe we'll go r dig the other way though. I don't think. Uh, yep, I've explored this way. Oh, come on, this is no, this is copper ore. I can tell that's copper ore, but uh, more more lapis lazuli. Yep, keep them coming. Keep. This is like not bad luck, but it's just annoying how we can't find bronze. That's all part of the game. It's all part of take it the take it take it experience. You know, we must have found something nickelite. Ooh, all right, we have some emerald. Uh, no, that's, is that emerald? Yeah, it's emerald. That's before emerald was even added into the game. So you can just see how how long ago emerald was added in the game. It was over a year now, I think. Um, <clears throat> what was this? Silver ore. Uh, that was silver ore. No, it wasn't tin. Let's see if we can dig a little bit down that this way. And try and find some silver. But I don't, oh, crap, 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 bit Block that off and uh, let's go back and uh, uh, I'll cut this so it won't be boring for you guys and go get some torches. Alright, we're on our way back to the mine shaft or the sort of slot system that we have uh, done. We're strip mining away, trying to find some, uh, trying to find some bronze. We're after a very limited amount of bronze and uh, here is a little incident that uh, we came across. Hopefully that may be bronze, but I do believe it's silver. Uh, see if we can not. We can't place it there. Come on, don't be a don't be a pain. Oh, it's gonna be a pain. Look at this. It's uh, gonna be a pain. There we go. Nicely sealed off. And God, we. Oh, yep, pain again. Pain, pain in the neck. There we go. Uh, I forgot to charge up my. Uh, diamond drill so again we're gonna have to go back very very silly and costly mistakes just uh, prolonged the whole experience of uh, playing this but this is really fast mining I'm um, actually liking the mining speed that we have of the up oh, there we go it's empty again so back back on the journey to find uh, to go back to our house to go recharge my diamond drill. Now take a look at this. A cool handy thing to do is if you have a diamond drill, what you can do is you can fill up these RE batteries. Now uh, here you go, you can fill them up in the generator and you can actually have them in your inventory. And once your diamond drill gets out of power, what it can do is uh, you can refill it up um, with your battery. So you don't have to go back to your base, which... Uh, so from now on, I'll be carrying um, some RE batteries. Hopefully this one is full. There we go. Um, RE batteries, so I can just quickly replenish my diamond drill so we can have two times uh, longer uh, lasting, longer lasting uh, sort of mining expeditions. Um, I also might create more torches, but that's not a positive uh, that I will. Uh, I'll get some tin ore. Yep, place all this uh, random junk so we can have a little bit more space in our inventory. Um, coal goes there. Oh, well, why it doesn't want to go there? It's uh, maybe charcoal. I think charcoal. Uh, okay. Oh no, 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 no. Look at this. Look at this. Um, this is charcoal. Yep, that's good. And this is charcoal, because I do believe there is a little bit of a glitch. Um, if I can get my philosopher's stone. Yeah, here I have the mining laser. Um, but. Uh, Philosopher's Stone, and you, you're wondering, why don't I use that mining laser? Well, I uh, want to create one afresh. Uh, I don't think I cheated it in, but I do know there was some something funky going up in here. So here we can see that from one charcoal, uh, or no, from one coal we get four charcoal, So, um, and they both do the same output of power um, into these generators. So uh, both same power, but uh, we can 
submit that and put that in there. There we go. And you know what? We can actually, actually, we're not generating anything with, uh, this is an electronic furnace. We can smelt that. Well, that was a really loud sound. And go place the lapis lazuli in here and uh, there we go. Now, let's go back and uh, go and mine a little bit. I should really put this Philosopher's Stone back because I'm scared I might fall into lava, die, and lose my Philosopher's Stone. So back to the topic of why am I creating a second mining laser. Uh, I, I don't want to say I cheated it in. I don't remember actually um, exactly how I did it, but I'm sure one of my videos would document um, if someone would go back and watch. Uh, my previous videos, I do think I did create one from scratch, but I want to create another one um, simply because that, that's just a pretty cool goal to set in a video. And what I'm going to do here is just quickly fix up this. And after this video, I hopefully will be live streaming, um, continuing on playing, playing this. Um, but uh, I think uh, maybe I should release this video and then live stream because it'll be kind of silly uh, watching a video that they've already seen or something a progress that they've already seen and then watching it back but uh, all right let's continue on our mine shaft in the quest to find some bronze to create myself a delicious mining laser just place the torches closer to my uh, drill uh, so it won't be such a pain in the neck collecting it there we go very fast mining with this is very efficient very fast and uh, very fun um, here we go, get some more lapis lazuli, slaving away, and here we have some more coal. Coal is becoming a very, um, useful, resourceful, um, object now. Um, here's some copper, I do believe. And is this a cave? Oh, look at this, and there's diamond, and do this is pretty damn nice. This is cozy. Very cozy, very nice. Alright, let's go harvest as much stuff as we possibly can. Um... And you can see how my drill is nearly completely gone. Um, whoop. Uh, let's see if we can just go place down here. Come on, bronze. We're, we don't really care about that diamond anymore. We want bronze. This is really rich in ores. Just wow. There's, it looks very colorful. It's uh, almost like uh, the Command and Conquer, uh, the Tiberian, the colorful Tiberian. Um, very nice, very pretty, but I don't think there is any sign of bronze. Um, I don't want to completely miss it. I, I can just see myself missing bronze, and uh, that'll be kind of a shame. Uh, what's this? I have collected some copper. Gravel we don't really care about. Uh, um, tungsten ore. It wasn't coal, it was tungsten ore. Um, there we go. I wonder what tungsten ore does. I don't think I have ever collected... Ooh, here's some more rubies. And our rubies, I do believe, create light sabers, something weird like that. Oh, can collect this diamond. There we go. Collect this gold. Just be all risque about it. Oh, we've finished off this. So what we can do is, I do believe, we just simply do this. And there we go. We charge it up like this. Hold it down with our right mouse button. You can see the depletion of our battery and the sort of equipment of more battery life for uh, drill. So there we go, we have a fully replenished drill and uh, we can go ahead and continue mining. Very efficient, very nice and uh, the batteries are kind of, uh, well they're, they're really useful as I don't have to go back consistently and recharge my drill. Now, but we're still on the quest to find some more bronze. Where is this bronze? Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe we we don't find bronze. Maybe you create it with um, copper. I'm not sure. Maybe it's something really silly like that. So let me just go double check how to make bronze. Actually, um, if what, would, what was I searching? Um, bronze. There we go. And how would you create bronze dust? Uh, no. Um, show me R. Copper dust and tin dust. Hallelujah. That's how we do it. How stupid do I feel? So we just were mining about here for nothing. Here we just go collect some tung tungsten ore. Collect some silver dust. And that's why I was, I think it was uh, mas masquerading. I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation or the word for that matter of fact. Um, 
I don't think we're going to be needing too much mushrooms, uh, to be honest. Go collect this iron, and uh, we'll go back then. We'll go back, create the bronze, and create the mining laser. So here we go. How silly am I? I, I, knew, I knew something was up after I, I found absolutely every single random ore, and I couldn't find such a basic item as bronze. I knew something was up. And what is that purple thing? I don't think I have ever acquired this purple. Uh, it's sapphire. Oh, damn it. I thought, ooh, what is this? What is this? Ah, oh, this is, um... I have this already. It's basalt. It's uh, next to my volcano-ish place. So here we have some coal. And coal is very useful now. And I'm sort of running out of coal. Um, so whenever I see a large truckload of coal, I'll collect it. And hopefully this is still entertaining. I Hopefully at least one person is still watching up to this point. Um, because... I don't know. I don't know if anyone would. Whoop, whoop! Is it going to fall down in here? No, I don't think so. I think we're. I think we're safe for today. Uh -huh, but let's get out of here. Actually, what I want to do is just place, place a little thing and just explore here. Anything interesting? Nope, not really. And here we go again. We're sort of lost. Here is another issue. We are sort of lost. Uh, where did I come from? Ah, oh, crap. All right, let's think this through logically. I came from... Crap. Oh, dear God. Where did I come from? This is another monumentous error. I just... I just go crazy and then... I don't know where I came from. What is this? Um, all right. There's some emerald. I think we might have to dig our way back up. Because this is not looking too good. This ain't looking too good, boy. This is looking actually rather terrible. I'm lost. I'm lost in this wizardry cave. Ooh, I've explored this area, though. What is this area? Hopefully... All right, all right, I know where I am. This is where we came from. All right, I'm safe. We are safe, folks. We are safe. We can run back now and go create this bronze. Well, what, what a sort of trickery that was. Um, I was sort of looking, and probably you guys are so frustrated with me. I was just like so blind and stupid, but that's the whole point of Tech It. It's, uh, it's so big, and I haven't played it in so, such, a, such a while. Um, sort of forget those things and I was really naive not knowing um, how to create bronze and not even looking it up I just jumped to the conclusion that it's an ore and you have to find it but uh, instead you craft it which is uh, really awesome really awesome in that uh, point of looking at stuff there's still a couple of plants or a couple of wheat still needing to be uh, sort of matured so we'll leave that alone um, and I feel like cleaning this up a bit, but I don't think I should. I will place this diamond in here. Um, and uh, let's go create... How do we create bronze again? So we want bronze dust, and bronze dust is created by copper dust and tin dust. So I do believe we have both of these. And take a look at this. Canning extractor, this uh, macerator. We have a lot of tin dust. Oh, oh, take it easy. Take it easy, tin ore. There we go, place that. And copper. But it's not... Was it doing something or was it not? Ah, it is. Alright, so it's just kind of a slow process. Um, I don't have any copper here, by the looks of it. And I only have one of these macerators. And I need copper more than tin. This is going to be fun. This is going to be real fun. Uh, let's go place back these guys um, here. Um, we have gold, iron, uh, quite a bit of coal, lapis lazuli, tungsten, tungsten, tin, uh, basalt. We can place down there. Ravel and whoop, nope, we're not doing that. There we go. Thank you, Mister. Place down the cobblestone there. 
gravel and dirt can just get plunked down here. I'm really, I really like my areas to be clean. I don't like a big mess and I just have... So you can, we have a lot of nickelite and that's why I don't really want to collect too much nickelite. But then again, we run into problems like we just had then. Uh, we sort of ran out of stuff. So here we go. I've got the generator. We want to charge up our drill. Oh, still charging up in here. And we can charge it up fully in here. And we can also charge up our battery in here. And maybe even create another battery. There we go. And I do believe I have three of these. Yeah, we do. So I can just finally charge up this. Lower that. And, uh... Alright, this is looking pretty nice. Looking pretty nice. Let's see how much, uh copper we have there we go so now what we shall do is just place this mushroom and some flint away we don't really want that stuff in our inventory let's go create the bronze finally creating the bronze and it doesn't uh you don't have that drag effect which sort of sucks um because this is a outdated version of minecraft there we go, and we have six. Ah, oh, perfect. Actually, no, not perfect. We need to create it into these bronze ingots, uh, which is done by smelting them. So we can go into this electric furnace and smelt our bronze dust, like so, and we can even split it in half to make the process even go faster. Here we have some refined iron that we were doing before, some iron ingots, tin dust, and it looks like we're set to create ourselves... Um, a uh, mining laser. This is fun times ahead, fun times. Um, what we can do is we can uh, split up that coal that we have found, charcoal, coal, charcoal, uh, with our philosopher's stone, which is here, like that. And here we go, philosopher's stone with our coal. There we go, and ooh, we have quite a bit, quite a bit of stuff, and we can actually top, top this, uh, that up, sixty-four. Um, anything else requiring coal um, there and we can just top it all up um, because these these guys are the main machines the the backbone of tech it they are the, the sort of riding horse as you can say there we go we just get the gold and the iron just uh, smelt that up we're done here and uh, we've created a lot more of uh, bronze than we needed to well, that's all fun and games here. So now we have fully completed the requirements. Now let's go to the build order. Now the first thing we want to build is one of these actual, what are they called? I have no idea what they're called. Energy crystals. That's what we need. We need to create two energy crystals. So creating an energy crystal, um, we shall hopefully put these guys in like so like that and then just drag these down like so all right there we go um energy crystals so they're basically surrounded and we're creating two of these so we'll do two surrounded and diamond is the center item there we go we have two energy crystals giving us the energy now we can go back and one redstone like so we also need to create um, some advanced alloys. So here we have some refined iron. Now we need quite a bit of this stuff and uh, it goes on for quite a while. Um, so I think we need around about five. So let's go create four and like so. And also we need some tin. Oh, we need four actually. There. Oh crap, what was that? That was bronze. Alright. We don't have enough. Oh, no. There we go. I think that's enough. I'm sure that's enough. Um, so here we got that. Mixed metal ingots. Now we need to go to a compressor. Now, how does a compressor look like? What is a compressor? Where is my compressor? Alloy furnace. I don't have a bloody compressor. 
Uh, that's something that I need to look into. Compressor. Here, compressor. Compressor, here we go. Ah, uh, no. Oh, well, it helped us out in the search. So, we need some stone. We also need a machine block and an electronic circuit. My golly. We need copper cables. We need redstone and some refined iron. Hopefully, um, copper cables. Oh, God, we have four. This, this is going to be a dragged out process. How do we create this? We need rubber and also copper. Here we go. Um, rubber and also copper in the center there we go so we've created the copper cables um like that and then like that all right so here uh we also geez oh, actually no we i know the center item i nearly forgot the center item but uh it's refined iron there we go so we have the electronic circuit happening we also need a machine block, which is refined iron. And we have quite a bit of refined iron. It's just smelted iron again. So we have the machine block. And also, what we need is some stone. So we'll just go get some stone from here. Smelt this away. There we go. And we can actually just split this and make it a lot faster of a job. There we go. And once we've done that, we have a compressor. Now I need space. I need another. I need another row. God. So we get out our drill and we drill. We drill a hole. Ooh, here's our mine shaft that we went through. We'll, we'll make it a. Uh, we'll, we'll sort of extend it by three. Yeah, we'll extend it by three. Um, so one, two, three, and this is where the wall will go. Giving our nice little room a nice extension, and I'll just fill it up in the meantime with cobblestone, but I want to fix that up with nice-looking stone. Place that there. Fill it up with grass, um, and we will have a nice-looking area. Um, we can see I'm very, very passionate about creating uh, a safe... A safe and a very nice working environment. I don't wanna. I don't wanna be. Li I don't wanna be living in squalor, living in a in a hell hole. All right, we'll just collect our stone that we have smelted, and here we go. Let's create the compressor now. I'm sure I had one before, and I've lost it. Maybe how silly would it be if I have it here and I just didn't click on it? I don't think I have one. No, I don't. Uh, and since it's next to the generator, it's automatically generating um, the heat for me, basically. It's already generating, so I don't need a pipe adjacent to it. And now, what we do is we just place it in here. And we need a battery, I do believe, maybe. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Let's see what the first one comes out. Because it's supposed to come out as a sort of A4 piece of paper. I wonder what will happen if I don't place a battery there, that's what it's telling me to. But let's all, uh, what's going to happen? Ah, oh, here we go. We got the al advanced alloy. All right, so we need that a couple of times. And we can go click back. And uh, let's see what else we need. Oh, we also need an advanced circuit. And to create an advanced circuit, we need uh, more redstone, lapis lazuli, and... Uh, all right, so, oh, God, we need more copper. We need more copper. So, how do, does one create copper? Um, copper dust. But we want uh, smelt copper. We want it in blocks. That's what we want. Uh, we want some copper down here as well. There's more copper. There's a lot of stuff we need to uh, uh, smelt. We need to smelt um, this copper. There we go. That's bronze. We don't need that. Uh, we have quite a bit of refined iron. Um, but here we go. So, we also need some rubber. Here, copper cable. And, wait. We need to also create copper cables. That's what we need. Um, 
and it cr requires quite a bit of rubber balls and uh, copper. So here's that's done. That's done and we can split the workload. So we have it like so for Voilissimo. And let's go down and dirty with the copper cables. There we go. Create that. Now once we've created the copper cables, we can go create a row of three. Two rows of three. And then also we need some redstone and also a... There we go, some refined iron. Now that creates an electronic circuit. Now what we want actually is an advanced electronic circuit. So what that requires is some lapis lazuli. Here we go. And then some, there we go, glowstone dust. And of course we need the surrounding corners redstone. And we have ourselves an advanced circuit. Now once this is done, we have created everything. Now these emerald bug, oh crap, where did my emerald go? Where did my other emerald crystal go? Oh, Jesus Christ. Where did my other emerald crystal go? Oh, God. Surely I had made two. Oh, no. I have misplaced my emerald crystal somewhere. I have misplaced it there we go lucky me lucky me and i do believe you have to charge these buggers up no you don't all right um all right so since we've done this where is my compressor there we go we have our sheet so now we can actually assemble it so with all if everything doesn't go if everything goes to plan oh jesus christ I think we need to charge these energy crystals up, and I have no idea how to do that. I might have to research into that because I don't think it will work. Oh, it worked! Sweet! Mining laser. There we go. We have created the mining laser. Now, we haven't completely finished off. We still need to test it out, play around with it, and have quite a bit of fun. Now, the mining laser, um, what kind of bloody fuel does it use? I'm, I'm thinking it uses this oil, this canning oil, because... Uh, that's why I have that's why I have built it. So uh, I'll do a little bit of research on how you actually fill up or, or power up a mining laser. All right, simply you just need to place it in a MFE unit which I've already have created. I have no idea when I created it just before. I have an idea, but I don't know what it needs to be done to have this MFE. All I know is I have it and it's charging up fairly nicely and uh, it's sucking up quite a bit of power as you can see it contains a lot of power and it's collecting very nicely very nicely indeed it's halfway full and i really wish you could uh carry around batteries and charge them but i don't think you can but the mining laser has uh quite a lot of um quite a lot of shots if uh if you can say that ammunition and uh, you won't be running out as much as the um diamond drill we can actually now clear up our inventory um, and fill this up. This is my, ch uh, this is my chest. This is my chest that I used to create the mining laser. So this is like the mining laser chest. There we go. And we'll have our drill here with our batteries. And these two batteries are full. All we need to do is fill up this bad boy, the diamond drill. And you can see the source. The resources went completely bonkers, all the way down and we've filled that up you can see the fire is actually going simply because it is draining energy from this and powering it up back up as you can see that it's going back up all the way up to 60 it's currently at 40 no it's 444,000 um, and it contains 600,000 energy units I'm sort of scared of using this inside because I, I know it does a lot of damage now here are the basic controls of it. What you can do is you can press your M key and right click and change the mode. Uh, so we're going to have horizontal, super heat, scatter, explosive, mining, low focus, long range. And that's pretty much it. Um, so let's go explosive. Let's go. Okay. That is what explosive does. It creates a, an explosion. Very self-explanatory. It uh, did a mean hole in my world. I'm not going to use that one again. Let's go to the mining one, probably the most useful one. 
And uh, there we go. We can just mine away. Yeah, and I'm not quite sure what I'm doing down here. I'm sort of breaking, um, breaking my surroundings. And here's some uranium that I can collect. And uh, here you go. Here comes the obsessive compulsive disorder I have of just patching up every single hole that I've created, and then just waiting time until the grass go grows over the dirt. And I'll have to fix this one off camera because it's slightly too large. And as you can see, my sugarcane farm has grown up. Very fast throughout this episode, so you can see that uh, I've spent quite some time on this episode. We also need to uh, finish off this farming. We got one, two, three, three wheats that are sort of slowing up the whole process. I know I can do it now, but uh, I just don't want to bore you guys. I want to go play around with my mining laser. I've, I spent like a good portion of this day on this video, and I want to try it out. I want to try out the mining laser and see what it can do, see what we can find, and just, just have a jolly old time with the mining laser so here is the mining laser very fast very star wars like look at this strip mine we're actually doing and once again we're going mining without torches jesus christ i'm terrible with this uh, so what i'm going to be doing is just this i'm just going to be shooting about shooting about and mining in close proximity sort of like mining this whole area out basically so light can also be reached and wow, this is fun. It's uh, <coughs> it's it's overpowered. It's but you got to think how much time we've put in to create this weapon. Uh, quite a lot of time, and uh, I think it's I think it's been well worth our time to create this. All right, so let's go press M, change it again. Low focus. I wonder what low focus does. Sort of breaks it off one block at a time. Go long range. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this, long range. Oh, I love that sound as well, like chew, 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 chew. Alright, so that was the long range one. Uh, we can go press M and then right click horizontal. Horizontal doesn't shoot anything, I'm not quite sure what it does. Superheat. I wonder what superheat does. Right, this, is, this can be all red, let's read. Uh, what does a superheat? If the target can be smelted, the smelted product will be dropped. Instead of the block itself, e.g. hit iron uh, or blocks with uh, that, iron ingots will fall out. So let's go see if that is true. Um, here we have redstone. That doesn't really accumulate to anything, maybe. Oh, whoa, all right. This is pretty cool. Super heat mode. I can definitely see the uses of this. This is pretty cool. I like super heat mode. Um, very effective. And... We're gonna get trapped in here. No, we're not. Uh, let's go. Let's go check out scatter. Let's see what scatter does. Uh, at 25 beams, five by five square formation, average per beam. And uh, what it does is beam distance travel 64 blocks, and block penetration 16 stone and 16 dirt. Wow. Wow. Ah, oh, no. We've. I think that one wastes a lot of energy, and uh, as you can see. My beam is uh, gone down, but I can still use a low focus. So you can see it uses different uh, sort of energy consumption. So the low focus actually continues, uh, but we can't do that massive scatter bomb blast. So this covers the mining laser. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll be continuing on creating uh, Tech It Let's Play videos. It's been really fun, really a really blast recording this. Just having fun in Minecraft again, and uh, look at this. This we created a mining laser today. Very fun, very fun times ahead. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. And don't forget to leave a rating. Hopefully it's a thumbs up. And uh, have a nice day.